Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze, I Truly Azure You, and I'm going to stamp it and put some gems on it. I started off with Danny Digits, Glitter Be Gone, and China Glaze, if I can get it to focus, I Truly Azure You. And I'm going to, I've already got my base on and it's all dried, and I'm going to go ahead and go in with my first coat. And I love this polish. It is so pretty. I grabbed it this week when I went into Sally's. It was in the clearance bin and I couldn't resist. The, the formula on it is just fantastic. It really is a good one. Make sure to cap my tip. Cap it. Make sure. I, see, I have to flip it over to see. <laughs> break out witty and do just a touch up. And here we are. We're going to go in with our second coat of a truly azure you. Like I said, this had a fantastic formula. It leveled out and wasn't streaky or anything. Loved it. It's got that little bit of flash that I like, you know, that blue-green, kind of iridescent-looking thing. Mm. Very pretty. I'm going to top it off with some Posh Top Coat, get it to dry up so that I can do my stamping without messing anything up. Cap in my tooth. And there we go. Got to break out Woody again, I'm sure. But I'm going to be using my Clear Jelly Scraper and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and this You Are Beautiful plate number 17. I'm going to use one of my favorite images. And I'll be using Mundo de Unis, number 67 Bones. I do really, really love this image. I've used it more than once. There we go. I'm just going to plop that onto the nail. Tap it down. Make sure it's sticking good. And then I'm going to go in with a little piece of tape and get as much of that extra stamping polish off of my finger. Now I'm going to go in with a final cleanup on, well, I say final, we got more to do, but I'm going to do some cleanup with my brush and my acetone. I just like to clean up as I go. And there we go. I'm going to use these little stones that I got off of um, either Wish, I believe it was Wish though, and I'm going to use the super dry clear coat, it just kind of is my glue to kind of get these stones to just kind of stay put so I can seal them in with some top coat. And I'm using a little orange wood stick, Woody, to apply these. And I did dampen it with a little bit of that clear coat to make the tip of it sticky. And I'm just plopping these on where the, all the crosses meet, all the intersections. And I'm just putting in those little plastic gemstones. And they weren't they did have a flat bottom, that, but they are so tiny, it was really hard to tell which side was flat and which side wasn't, and they were almost see-through, and I just started slapping them on. I didn't care if the flat bottom was down or not. And I'm using my finger to kind of tap them down to make sure that they're in place and kind of stuck down pretty good, because I don't want them to move when I go to put my top coat on. And I'll be topping it off with some posh top coat. And this did leave it rather textured feeling. And I know a lot of people can't stand that feeling. So um, you might want to go in maybe with a dotting tool and some holographic polish or find um, flatter little stones or gems to use. And here we go. Woody's going to make another appearance and do a little bit more cleanup for us. And here we go. Turn off some lights and see if we can get it to show up better. But it's, it's quite a mess. 
And here's what it looked like on my longer nails. And then on my shorter nails. So I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.